try and go fast. So today what I want to show you is what we call Eudico Garden, that in the end is just a bunch of scripts. So we have Eudico, what, what Sarah just showed, where we've been working with it locally, we've been implementing in it hierarchical consensus, but as we are moving into production or we are trying to put hierarchical consensus into production, we needed to try things in a real environment. So that's how Eudico Garden came up, where what we have here is just a bunch of scripts we, that with Terraform, uh, I mean, the requirements are Terraform and AWS CLI, so it's quite limited right now, and a bunch more. You are able to deploy an Eudico network with Filecoin consensus as a rootmate. So the, here in this readme, you'll see all of the scripts that will help you deploy your Eudico network and your Eudico Garden in case you're you want to play with it. Uh, you have like a deploy script that will run a set, like it will spawn a network with a number of Genesis miners in the root net. Then you can add new miners. These miners are not uh, like, these are full nodes, no, not miners. If you want to mine, like you can onboard new power. We will add a script soon for that also. And like uh, the reason why we wanted this is that up till now, and, and like actually Sarah has just shown a demo, we were using like uh, dummy consensus algorithms in the root net. And if, as we are moving into, uh, again, like into production and trying to, to deploy this into Filecoin, we wanted to know how uh, like all of our processes and all our, our hierarchical consensus framework was affected by having as low consensus as, as uh, Filecoin in the root net. So we've been running a uh, network for actually, I, I think this one I started this morning. And what I want to show you now is like how we have this, this network running with Filecoin expected consensus in the root net and how we can have different subnets. And we're going to spawn a new subnet with Tendermint, which is also a new thing that we recently, that Dennis recently implemented, which is support for Tendermint consensus in subnets. So the first thing that I'm going to do is here start. Let me see if it works. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I just started a, a, a Tendermint cluster that I'm gonna use for consensus, and I'm gonna go to. So I have this session attached where, uh, like, if we see, so you'll see here that I already have a bunch of subnets because we've been playing like all day with it, each with different states, each with different flatcoins, like uh, SQL in supply in their in their subnet, and what we're gonna do is to add a new subnet um, that we're going to call, for instance, Tendermint with a Tendermint consensus. This may be a bit, so the Tendermint consensus is number two, and the parent, we want to do it from the root, so from the Falcon consensus. As you'll see, like, this is a bit slow because, um, so we, uh, what we're doing here is we are deploying an actor that will represent all of the logic for the subnet and the governing policies for the subnet. And in order to check the, the right ID and like the, that the, the, the actor has been deployed, we wait for at least five epochs of finality. So that's why until like we don't see five epochs from the following consensus, we like this process won't change. But in the meantime, like I can show you, I can start interacting with one of the subnets that I have over here. So um, I, let me see. I have here, um, so this is a proof of work subnets that I just deployed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna spawn a subnet in a subnet to see that how fast it is once you use a faster consensus and to, to make a case of what we need, why we need hierarchical consensus once we have arbitrary computation. So um, we're gonna do the same. In this case, we're gonna add a proof of work consensus, but instead of using the root chain as a parent, we're gonna use this T01. One zero. One zero. And you'll see that while in the left, we are still waiting. In the right, it should be spawned in no time. So you see that we, we have deployed the actor that is gonna govern the subnet. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna join this subnet uh, so that we can start mining it. Uh, yeah. So this also should be quite fast. Okay, now we have like the tender min the actor that will govern the tender bit from the root net, we have it over here, and we're gonna start, like we're gonna do the same. First join it, and then 
uh, and then start mining so that you see a submit mining some uh, like with the limit. All right, so here in the right, sorry, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm driving you crazy, but it, it, like it, it, I mean, this is gonna take a lot of time, so that way I can like parallelize the demo. Um, so here in here in the right, like you see that we've created the the subnet, the new subnet. So now if we list the subnets, but instead of so here you see the list of subnets from the root, right? If we list the subnets from the 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 sub subnet from which we the child subnet from which we created you see that oh well, it's not subnet api you see that we created this new subnet and that we have some stake here we could even like send some funds to the subnet and interact with it even if it's a sub subnet we could also check like how our checkpoint you, to show you that this has been running for a while i can show you that here we are periodically oh, yeah, so we, I need the, the comment from the left to finish in order to, to show you this, but I, I wanted to show you like the list of checkpoints that we have committed so far for this, for this network. We could also check the, the list of checkpoints for any other network, which probably I'm not syncing with them, but yeah. All right, so now we added the new subnet. And we're gonna start mining some for the we're gonna start mining some tendermint. And uh, so we started, you see here TM consensus. This is these are the logs of the of the so you'll see here like TM consensus, proof of work consensus, like all of the mining of all the logs from the mining of my subnets. And finally, like before I leave, I want to show you how I sent some five coins to this tender mean subnet uh in this case again it's it's slow because we're going through five coin consensus it would be way faster if we had some other consensus that's why like we do child subnets from the subnets that we have so that we can go faster and um so wait subnet api our subnet was called seven and here like eventually um, here you'll see the 10 Falcons that I just sent from the root tank from to the subnet. And yeah, but in order to leave some room for the rest of the <laughs> of the demos, I'm gonna stop here. If someone is interested in using a Doico Garden or having access to this environment that we have currently running, feel free to drop me a message and I can give you access to one of these nodes. Thank you very much. <laughs>